So how to overcome the power of greed in it? Yeah, the first solution is are you smarter than fifth grade? Ask yourself question. Yeah, I am smarter. The chief enemy of uh, creativity is called sense. You know, Pablo Picasso, he was a great thinker. If you want to think creativity, creatively, you should have really a bad sense. You know, bad sense to think differently. Many people, you need to become nonsense. You know, you need to become nonsense by that time to become really a different thinker. A different thinker if you want to be, if you want to think creatively. So you have to become a different thinker if you want to become creative. The difference, the difference, uh, the divergence between the Peter and the boys at the time was they knew they make it believe uh, the truly the same thing. Overcoming the myths of creativity, you know, visual thinking. Using images uh, to solve the problems and communication. So there are different kind of faces which uh, are there. Uh, you know, different faces which uh, uh, can be used to solve the problems and communicate. It's nothing but a visual thinking. So 80% of the brain is dedicated to visual processing. That is the uh, important thing. And visual processing is not new. It's a part of our history. Written language. You know, written language also originated from drawing and sketching. Many people used to draw and sketch on the on the uh, caves, you know, and uh, step by step, uh, they started creating A, B, C, and the language came into existence. And the language came into existence. So previously, people used to draw and sketch, you know, like uh, in the era of Neanderthal men and uh, all previous uh, history if you take out you know people used to draw the images of uh, the beautiful women you know in the Achinta and a lot of caves which you can see the gods and goddesses photos are there even you see the mummies of Egypt you know the people have drawn a lot people have drawn a lot they have carved a lot so it was the thing that the people used to draw and sketch you know visual processing is not new it's a part of our history and 80 percent, 80% of your brain is specially given for visual processing. So if you think visually, you are not going to forget. So I will also suggest you to improve, if you want to improve your memory, you should think visually. That is very important. Right. Visual thinking, uh, thinking tip. Now I'm going to tell you the tips. First is to create an environment for creativity, uh, a place where you can sit and relax, well, uh, you can keep yourself calm and you can think, uh, you can get space, that is the space where you'll, you'll be able to think creatively. Second is uh, start the habit of drawing, you know, drawing will actually a little bit help you in thinking creatively and uh, you draw anything, whatever you require, so that's also important, uh, this will enable creativity in you. Third tip is about your personal visual library. So this is nothing but the your drawing, your own drawings. You know, drawing the star, drawing the love, drawing the sun, drawing dollars, drawing computers, drawing stars, and drawing old people, drawing anything. You should have uh, visual thinking can be increased. Uh, create a personal metaphor library by using this. Uh, this and directly your vision will grow. You balance. Evaluate. See, these are the thing. You know, uh, here is like a visual. Take creative and visual thinking breaks. You know, sit, relax on a sofa. Sit, relax on the bed. Think something different. Find space for thinking. Visual thinking tips. You should practice creativity. Uh, you should find times for. Uh, you should practice creativity each and every day by doing different things in your field. If you do practice of uh, creativity each and every day, your creativity is going to increase. And uh, read more literature, you know, reading is a habit which can actually let you think. And when you start thinking, you, you start putting load on your brains, you know, you're going to be really a great thinker. Even uh, you can have a basic visual thinking kit, you know, you can have uh, like triangle with the vertical lines, horizontal lines, circles, parallels, 
uh, what are star you take you can take a diamond you can take circle you can take any direction straight triangle etc etc and you can start uh, thinking in that way you can draw images like this you know this one this one is really beautiful so this kind of maps you know it's uh, really going to make you creative uh, you know building learning modeling etc relating the things in that way uh, and making a tree mm, differently so this is nothing but this kind of post creativity and hope you understood the lesson of creativity and uh, we're going to stay tuned to my next subscribe my channel